What's up everybody? Welcome to the final round of the Andalusia TGC Tour Elite Tournament. We are now in the lead. We have one more round to go. We're trying to finish strong and take this trophy home for the fam. Um, it's going to be a big one. I mean, we have to we have to play low. The goal I had in mind going into the round is to shoot 60. Um, again, the reasoning to that is that 12 under would put us at roughly 51, which is three strokes more than what I really envisioned the golf tournament to be won at. Um, and that's really kind of the goal. I mean, we're, again, we're just trying to play some solid golf. Uh, we played pretty mediocre last round. We hit a lot of poor shots, so we're trying to make trying to do better here. So we start again with the lower club. Uh, we're putting a little top spin on it to try and get it through this front wind. We're not sure how strong it is just yet. We go a little fast, which actually might help us because it might have been a little short and it is short. Um, that wind is blowing a lot more than we thought. Uh, so we got to start with a good chip. Uh, I like these chips, and let's see. We put a little backspin on it because I feel like we're going to try and hit a full shot, and we're on upslope, so it should, should be pretty perfect distance-wise. And yes, cash money. What a start. Big chip. Big chip for the Rambo camp. And uh, yeah, that's a really big, especially, again, we're playing these rounds consecutively as these videos are coming out like day by day, but um, I'm really kind of like not a little iffy, but our third round was pretty sketch, so I don't really have much momentum going to this round. So that's a huge kind of shot, opening shot to really give us that that big kick in the butt to start the round properly. So uh, sandwich on the second hole, I'm going to give a little more because we kind of saw how strong that win is. Um, and we want to, if anything, we want to land a little left of the flag here. So uh, we're not going to aim too far to the right, uh, but uh, we did aim pretty far to the right. But the win, again, the win was like a little unpredictable and it just didn't go in. Like the win didn't do anything to the shot there. Um, so we got a pretty long birdie putt here. Uh, it looks like it's breaking a little right at our feet, then left, and then back right at the hole. So um, I feel like it's definitely good. It should break more left than right. So we're aiming pretty proportionally outside the hole. It should be pretty. I mean, it's just not going left. Look at that. It just stayed straight the whole way. Man. Okay. Well, I felt like I read that pretty properly. I would, I would probably hit the same shot again, uh, obviously, if I was in the same situation. But things didn't pan out. Uh, it's a par. Granted, with the wind and where that pin was, it's not necessarily a birdie hole. I mean, with how short the shot is, I should have definitely put it closer off the tee, but we really misjudged that win off the tee. So it is what it is. Move on. Part five, scoring opportunity. Uh, we now have, we're going driver off the deck again. Oh, boy. Let's see what this looks like. And we go fast. Uh, it should kick a little out. I mean, that's not terrible. It's going to be in the rough green side. Not the best shot because you definitely can't chip this with how bad the lie is and how much slope we have in front of us. Uh, we definitely have to kind of muster up a, a good good shot here with the, the splash. So we hit it max. We put a little backspin on it and ended up being pretty good shot. It rolled past a little bit, but it should still away. be. I mean, it's not the easiest, but we definitely got to make this one, though. The line behind the ball shouldn't okay. affect it too much. And great putt. Really That'll good good pace of the putt. Didn't try to blow it in. Just played the break. Up here on the good start floor. to the round. All right. Birdie party. Birdie, birdie party. Birdie. Not the, not the best. Not the worst. We just got to keep firing. Like Again, our goal is to shoot away. 60, and we're two under through three holes, so we're kind of on par with that, uh, with that mentality. Um, last time I played this hole, I think it was short, but uh, this is should be pretty good right here. Like we're in a down slope. We're again the shorter club mentality. We're trying to like just barely put this on the front of the green. I actually put a little backspin on this because it's a little. It looks like the wind's going far. I wish you go for the fast shot on this one. Okay, that explains more why I was putting backspin on it. Um, Goes a little short, and now we're gonna have the slope to deal with. I thought I was gonna go a little further. I was gonna, I was really expecting to land this like pin high and the ball to kick right and kind of feed off the slope, uh, but the backspin element was definitely not ideal. I think that was definitely doing too much to it, um, but still got a chance for the birdie. Um, definitely got screwed by the stupid thing. And, I mean, we didn't hit that at all. I mean, the whole thing where we go forward and it actually doesn't put. I need to like pause when I do that. Um, really not ideal, but. Uh, but yeah, we're only two up now from the PC community, so uh, we got to start playing some golf. I mean, this is really a big lead that's kind of dwindled down. Um, we actually we start. I mean, we obviously started really hot, but other players have caught up. A pretty good tee shot here. Uh, another shot where I just felt like the wind just wasn't blowing that hard, but it just pushed it forward. But we fed it off the right side of the slope, so it shouldn't be too difficult of a putt. We just really got to make a good one here and hope that it goes in. We don't aim that far outside the hole. The break looks pretty close to the hole, and it's a little downhill to start. So it, I, this should be – oh, we smashed it. Oh, we killed it way too hard speed-wise. Definitely the right break, but oh, man, this is a knee knocker. Oh, boy. Let's not miss this, please. Let's tracking. Ooh, oh, caught the right edge. That would have been tragic if we made bogey. I mean, that's the one thing this tournament, we have not made a bogey yet. 
not trying to jinx it, uh, but that's huge. Playing bogey free in these tournaments, um, uh, bogeys can really tarnish around, especially when you're not making that many birdies like we are now. Like a bogey in the first time would have been okay because we're basically making birdie on every other hole, but yeah. Um, not the easiest approach here. You can see like a nice little bowl where the flag is, but we don't want to go past it um, or short of it. So definitely got to make a good swing here. We do just that perfect. Again, the wind was like, for whatever reason, just really unpredictable. It seemed like some shots were being affected by the wind and some weren't. We had a really hard time judging that. Um, so, yeah, not an easy putt. A lot of break at the start. Just really have to make a, a good shot, make a good putt to have it a chance to go in. And it looks like it's cash money. Perfect putt. That's a big one for momentum right there. Um, especially that we'd have been only one up if we didn't do that. And we're obviously looking at the scores after every hole. So uh, the pressure is definitely mounting here. Uh, another good tee shot straight down the middle. This one should roll just short of the rough. And yeah, we got plenty nice. of distance in the rough. So uh, we hit the we were in the sound this hole last time, but this is definitely a hard hole to get the ball close. As you can see, we're like we're I'm thinking about trying to land this like barely on the green. So I'm trying to play this as an ideal shot as I can, and I just go slow. I mean that was extremely greedy with the wind being on our face. But again, this is kind of one of the one of those rounds where I just couldn't get the wind to gauge properly. Um, we hit a pretty good stand shot. Get us up pretty nice. close to the hole. I mean, that's pretty much a gimme, gimme par. Um, par this is this definitely not a birdie hole with that pin location. I don't care who's God. playing this hole. Like getting one to stop pretty close to the flag there would have been very difficult. Um, but the leader, uh, we are now only one stroke lead. Um, so we definitely got to get the get the foot on the accelerator here and hope we don't blow this lead and really finish strong. So uh, good tee shot. This is definitely one of the easier pin we've had so far this round. Um, I was really close to hitting a pitch here, but I actually didn't. Um, that's one thing we're going to practice in the future round. So, again, we're, we're it's nine feet uphill. The wind's downhill, so we're not going to do much to this one. I feel like we've kind of been gauging the wind very wrong this round. So, I do the mistake of going okay. slow. We actually got really lucky that the wind was blowing much harder than we thought it was. So, this ended up pain high, and we gave ourselves a pretty good chance of birdie if we can make a good putt. And we do just that. Huge birdie. I mean, that was... That was more lucky than good. That second shot definitely ended up being something uh, that I didn't really expect. But one of the players, actually the player that was only one stroke behind us or two stroke behind us, made bogey on one of the holes. And then we just put one in the bunker to start the next hole, which is obviously really, really bad, especially giving us is one of the hardest greens to kind of get to um, uh, because of all the slope on the green. So we're trying to make a good decision based on the lie. Um, I instead of going two, I went three clubs more and just try to hit one fast. Um, try and catch the edge of the green and roll it by a little bit towards the hole, but we go way too much club and we're really hoping for this one to go past the green and it does. If that's staying on the green, that's one thing actually as that I'm remembering now. We avoided anything and we basically didn't have any long putts this whole tournament so far at least. Um, so that's one thing that I'm really like really proud of is that our proximity to the hole has been really great and that's really avoided any three putt potential that we've had. So. Uh, this is a knee knocker again, but we make a really good putt right in the heart. It was a downhill snapper right off the start. Um, that might have been the hole that the player in front of us or behind us made bogey on. So, um, again, a huge shot. We're going to try and hit a little cut, but we're going to still hit it fast. Um, we're just trying to, like, get that motion of it going left to right to try and keep it short of the bunker or, excuse me, the, the rough, and we do just that. Uh, obviously not the best lie going into the green, and especially how we've been gauging the win. Like, I'm not really excited about this shot, but – uh, we're just trying to hit a good one. I think I actually try to go fast here, if I remember correctly. No, actually, no, we're definitely going perfect, but we do go fast. Um, we try to counter effect, counter effect the slope. I feel like going fast would have been the right idea. I think I should have taken a little spin off and just instead of trying to deal with that slope and the angles, I could have just went fast, and the fast kind of counter effects the, the, the ball below your feet a lot. Um, but yeah, another birdie putt. Try to make this guy, and no, just a little, little on the high side. Still par, though. Um, we have a few shot lead, but we obviously we're trying to finish strong Only a three shot lead. We are in the back nine of the championship round All right, if you guys remember we had this pin location a few a few rounds ago I think it was on the first round. We thought we had a really good shot. So um, We put a lot of top spin on it But the wind was actually kind of dying or even going forward. So this time we had the same exact shot We're barely trying to land us on the front of the green and we hit it perfect So like we're hoping for the best here and we get just that I mean it landed perfect spot and look at this ball still going to roll by the hole but that was oh ideal i mean we couldn't have asked for a better tee shot um really good tee shot again i mean that's 
I can't I can't say good things enough about that tee shot. That was a huge shot. Now our leads up to five. That was definitely not a birdie hole with how difficult that pit was. Um, landing in that plateau on top was very difficult. So back to back par threes. Uh, we kind of saw what happened last time in this hole. I think we went a little long. We're trying to hit one perfect. We took a little bit off spin wise. Really hoping this is good. But look how strong the wind is all of a sudden. Like it's just pushed it dead to the right. But still, we're on the right plateau. An outside, I mean outside. I'm gonna say it's a pretty good opportunity to make birdie here if we can make a good putt. Um, and we do that. Stay up, stay up. Yes, cash money, baby. Come on, this is great. Back to back birdies uh, to realize we started back nine and we're just keeping the foot on the accelerator. Again, I feel like 48 under is gonna win this tournament. I could be wrong, um, but I feel like it's it's obviously not an easy or not a hard golf course but just based on the fact that it's still the difficult settings it's not easy to play this very well so uh we're trying to hit the sauce perfect shot here as you saw me pointing and curse a little short of green we're trying to land it's just short a little downhill a little into the wind uh, just trying to hit the perfect shot if we can do that it should be money and we get that perfect shot i mean this should be cash we are hoping for the best here it should land like again just barely short of green this is i mean this is absolutely ideal scenario it stays on the green chance for eagle uh not the easiest putt but not the hardest putt you just got to give it i think it's a little more than that it looks like it's gonna be low oh we even went back a little i, I come on ray ray of uh, ray of three days ago please make a decision here to go a little more high and yeah i think that's gonna be low man but it's good though like i'm seeing those things now i'm like as i see them I'm learning about them so uh we're seeing a relatively at least on this golf course we saw a lot of similar putts hopefully the coming golf course is going to be kind of the same. Um, but yeah, now we have a six shot, or is it five or six shot lead again? Uh, like we're just kind of firing all cylinders, making making birdies on most of the holes we play on the back nine. It's huge for us. Um, downhill lie, pretty flat green here. So I'm, again, having a hard time judging to win this round. So I don't think I did much to this one. I'm just trying to go perfect. And we do just that. And the wind's pushing a little right. But distance wise, we thought we were going to hit a perfect shot here. And it ended up just being a little short, but not the worst place to leave it. Pretty feasible chip. Can we make the chip? You guys tell me. Ooh, I was actually, whoa, I can't, are we putting this? Nah, there's no way I would putt this because yeah, like the where I just pointed my arrow, like the the break at the start of the putt would be very hard to gauge. So I think the chip is definitely the right decision here. Um, and let's see if we can make this. Come on, one time. Go very fast, right in the heart of the whole cash money back to back to back birdies and that is the way we want to go about this i mean the very fast was kind of not i i never really try and go very fast on chips um i typically just try and go fast but i think that would have worked out anyways i think we caught a lot of the hole there so again five shot lead four holes to play i mean this is coming down the stretch par five two par fives left so again putting the ball in the fairway here is huge uh huge and we are trying to do our best to put this close. And if we can do that, I think this, oh, this was a, uh, yeah. So you see the slope right short of the flag. We're trying to catch that slope and feed it to the hole. Um, so we're looking at the wind. We're trying to hit a fade uh, that's gonna kind of feed into that slope. We want to land the show. We're hitting fire iron. So we're expecting a lot of rollout here. Um, because of the wind pushing like pretty hard to the left here, I probably should aim a little more right in retrospect, but this is a pretty safe play. We go perfect. We're just executing shots left and right on this back nine. Um, but yeah, as you see, the ball's a little too far in the center of the green. I think it still catches some of the slope, but it's not going as far right as we wanted it. That could have been a really amazing shot if we aimed just a little more to the right, but hey, we got an eagle chance. Um, and I, for 49 under, which would be one shot better already of what this expecting score. So I'm expecting the line behind my ball to push it left a little bit off the start. Um, I, I hate that. And I think I pause here. Actually, like I give it a second because every time I've done this, I hit a bad putt after. Uh, but we hit a really good putt. Break, break, break. And we catch the outside left. And that's an eagle right there. That is a statement. Look at his back nine coming down the stretch on Sunday putting in some numbers for the fam 49 under with three more holes to go including a par five so definitely looking forward to finishing this tournament strong we were aiming a little too far right there. that was actually a pretty bad line to choose left. we were a little we're riding a little high from that uh from that eagle but um again we got a little backstop here we can use so uh the rub the lie is horrendous 69 i mean that's like low 70 percent so definitely a three club shot and we're going to go fast to make sure we get it far enough um, looks like we carried this one a little too far, but still, I mean, it's on the green using a back slope to make sure we stay on the Honestly, green. And 
again, just really making sure we don't make a mistake. We don't want to make bogey. That's really the last thing we want to do. So just giving ourselves a chance for Brady is better. And then trying to make a putt. Can we, do we make this? Can this go in? Oh, that's not even close. That's so weak. We saw the downhill and we kind of got nervous a little bit after that eagle. But yeah, good par. Again, bad tee shot. Kind of really kind of not a great hole. We were hitting really two bad shots. We have a seven stroke lean on PC now. Um, I mean, that's just, that's tremendous. Uh, two holes to go and we have a, definitely a birdie hole in the last hole at the very least maybe eagle if we can uh, hit a good down. shot so trying to do some good stuff here good right down the middle of the fairway shot. another kind of i mean this of course has basically been driver wedge mostly every shot so um 15 feet uphill but again super downwind so uh it's just a weird we just again been having a really hard time gauging wind but it's definitely up there it's got to be at least 10 miles an hour I don't think I noticed. I think my impression this whole round was like it's probably around 10 or something. Or excuse me, it's probably around like 5 or 6. And it was more like 10. But we had, we go for the shortness, hit it fast uh, to make sure we got enough club to get it there. And we do that just well. And now we just got to make a putt for the bird. This looks like it's aiming a little too far out. But nope, it's perfect. Birdie. 50 under mark has been reached on a TGC Tour event for our sake. That is sick. I mean, that is really good playing right there. 525 yard par five to finish. Stripe one down the middle. Gonna have like 170 yards in and we have a chance to go 52 under par if we can hit a good shot here. So really looking forward to this one. Um, the last thing we wanna do here is go fast. So I think I was debating if I just wanna go really short club and go fast, but um, definitely don't wanna go long. And from the first round, we should have learned that hitting a six is not the play. So sending a seven should be the play. Um, and it's a little downwind that you see we're aiming pretty far to the right So we're probably gonna try and hit one fast and make sure we have enough club to get there And again, this is so wow. That was can't believe that went that far out I mean that was okay. the line was basically the front of the green, but yeah again We made the mistake the first time to take too much club. So we take just one We're just going one club up to make sure like we're just you see how flat it is to the hole We're just making sure we leave this a little short if anything we get barely to the hole um, but hit a really good chip and actually could have been really good if we aimed a little outside, but Final basically guaranteed tap and birdie, 51 and under par. Look at that back nine, a 29 on the back on the last round. That is that is sexy right there. And we did reach our goal of shooting 16 last round, uh, which really puts us in a huge lead. I mean, on PC at least, like, no, it doesn't look like anybody's got a chance to catch us, at least right now. Who knows what it looks like coming down the stretch. Uh, obviously people play some people play their first two rounds away till the cut is made to play their last two um, but i like just playing mine as i go kind of all all want together and then it doesn't penalize me for anything it's just people can see what i shot so people have an idea of what uh what really is the score to beat but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video this was our first full event in the elite tour uh, again the goal is to grow into the platinum tour and then try and win events there because that's like the ultimate pinnacle of tgc tours and i uh, looks from pga standpoint so hope you guys enjoyed the video as always have a good one